The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 175 of the TTV podcast. Mardi Gras. How's nice. it going? Merry Christmas, delayed Christmas, and Happy New Year, everyone, depending on when you're Merry watching this. Merry Christmas. I, I'm in a bad mood, guys. Oh, great. Oh, great. boy. Martin <laughs> get what he wanted for Christmas. Ian, the lazy oh, yes Grinch no. has passed his torch, and <laughs> yes now it's Val, the lazy Grinch. I'm in a, yes. I'm in a bad mood, guys. It's just, it's been an awful week of disappointment. And gas prices. <laughs> what did you get? Did you get coal in your oh, stocking. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> did you been, get orange listen, or something uh, in your stocking? Can you shut up and just let me say? Did you get an orange? Did you get that? No, I'm gonna say what I got. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> can we introduce ourselves before you go into your story? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, it's super fast. But whatever, whatever. I'm messing up. I'm right, Barter Red. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Viper. I'm Tuka Manuva. And this is TDD 175. I got a feeling it's going to be an interesting one. Let's go. Right, I, wasn't, let's go, I, let's I go. didn't even have a story. I wasn't going to say a story. All I wanted to do was bridge into me singing I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. Oh, oh sorry. I, I thought you were... That. Listen, I thought you were going to do, like, a thing, and I was like... Well, I wasn't going to do wait. a thing, but I mean, so I would have done a thing, but you guys are all like, hey, uh, did you get an orange for Christmas? I, I, oh, I wanted you to have the maximum amount of time to do your, do your bit. So now I didn't you have a bit. Go. I didn't have go, a bit. Go. You ruined the bit. Yeah, you killed you, the bit. You, you, you made it. You did have a bit. Natural. You, you did have a bit. Let's just let's go with the bit. Go. <laughs> Screw let's, the bit. What's with the gas prices? I, I won't get. I can't. I can't. I can't have the bit now. I can't have the bit like I can't have the 2016 sets. There you go. There's the Move bit. Boy, you uh, can have the 2016 sets. He has climbed highest mountains. He has Listen. Run through fields. This week has been be incredibly disappointing. It's been very disappointing because last year. We got the set super, super early because, you know, we scored with, like, the whole, like, New York thing, and we were able to get, like, our hands on the sets, like, the freaking October. But even then, afterwards, it was, like, what, December 16th when the sets showed up on, like, Walmart.com? Mm -hmm. So we were able to get them there. It is currently the 26th of December. I've got one set because I scored, like, really, really lucky, and I've driven to so many freaking places... And no sets to be found. What is wrong with Lego? How could they finally like fix everything? What did they? What have they done? They kept us from seeing the leaks up until up until October. They've kept Super the sets close. off shelves till January. Lego, you're killing me. You're killing me. You, you know what you're happened? My I'll, give, heart. I'll tell you what happened. You're in breaking two words. my heart. <laughs> Star Wars. That's what happened. Yeah. Star Wars yes, came out. Star and Wars, like, man. man R- really, we can't... Star Wars construction sets aren't that either. Yeah, exactly. The d- Lego well, yeah, was like, the we point. cannot do, we can't do leaks. We're not letting leaks of the sets get out before the movie. We're not getting leaks of the, you know, the the sets can't get out because Star Wars is coming but, out. And J.J. Abrams wait. was like, I'm not letting anybody know anything that's going on in this movie. Wait, 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 that's why. Wait, 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 wait. The movie's been out for a while. I know, I know. It's just a mandate that was passed out of corporate. Well, yeah, Disney it, was it's, like, the, it's a fact that they've settled on a date when it's going to come out, and now they're sticking to their guns with that date. Right. Oh, they, yeah, Jen first. Right. Yeah. It can't It can't come out that, oh, Lego's really loose about their deadlines and that things can just leak out whenever things, whenever, you know, stuff happens. Well, hey, Nexo Knights, how you doing? Yeah, just not pres- Well, efforts, okay, Nexo Knights is different. Completely different. Nexo Knights had a soft release on the 20th. That's why right. they're all over the place. Right. Yeah, and they are all over the they place. They are all over the place. Yeah, they are. I've driven... So, so like, the tip-off we got back on Reddit was that the sets are starting to show up in Barnes & Noble for the U.S. residents. Since we're all U.S.-based except for Viper, it's kind of, you know, big deal for us. Hmm. Barnes & Noble's first... I, I don't know what it is about Barnes & Noble, but apparently they're a toy store now. <laughs> it's weird. Um, not mine. Yeah, not <laughs> yours. <laughs> mine is neither. I drove to my local Barnes & Noble, like, Tuesday, posted about it on Twitter, and I got golly... 
2016 early. She was the only set there. And I was like, you know what? This is pretty cool, but maybe I just got lucky. Uh, I'm going to check another Barnes & Noble the following day. So I, dr I drive like an hour away to a Barnes & Noble down uh, at a different city, get there, drive all the way down to this other town, get a bunch of 20 2015 sets, no 2016 sets at all. And I'm like, dang, you know what? Maybe that Barnes & Noble tip-off was, you know, just kind of a fluke. Maybe I just got really, really lucky. Drive an hour back home, get on Skype, freaking purple dragon. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just okay. went to Barnes & Noble and got every single set! <laughs> Seriously, why did you hire her? <laughs> Purple's like, oh, hey, it was everybody here. <laughs> Literally every set here, except guys. for freaking Liwa and Golly, I think. I don't know. Onua. Liwa and Onua. Liwa and Onua. She got every freaking set from Barnes and & Noble. I'm like, what? What? Now, the one thing we can be happy about is that Liwa and Onua were her favorites, and she didn't get them, so... Yeah. yeah, but she got every other one. The one person that works for this company that doesn't need the sets for video purposes has gotten the sets. Yeah, exactly. Like, Var and I here, we're sitting, just waiting, waiting for the sets to pop up. Because we can just churn out our showcases and recap recents. Just ad nauseum. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crap, mm -hmm. dude. Luck is just not on our side. I think Leo was just out to screw us. And yeah, keep in mind, like, this happened before Christmas. Like, by the time this comes out, they'll hopefully be widespread. But all this went down before Christmas. It's yeah, crazy. I know. Yeah, like, right. I mean, by the time I, this I'm, is on YouTube, they'll be out. But yeah. I'm currently hoping to travel today to a Barnes & Noble and a Toys R Us. It's not see worth what, it. what? So chances are I'll find them right after we're done recording this. I actually drove to another Barnes & Noble this morning. Oh, that's, the podcast. Really? that's where you were. Yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna check one more Barnes and Noble. It'll be cool because when I get there, the, there's like three Barnes and Nobles right next to each other. So if the one that I'm going to doesn't have it, I'll just check the other two. So I drive an hour and forty minutes to Myrtle <laughs> Beach to check the Barnes and Noble there. Get there, I'm like, wow, this is weird. This Barnes and Noble looks like how I would assume a Barnes and Noble to look uh. like not a toy store. Where are all the toys? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Yep. So uh, I, I go I go to the, the, the customer service. I'm like, do you guys sell Bionicle sets? And they're like, oh, no. <laughs> we don't sell toys at this Barnes & Noble. I'm like, <laughs> what are a books-only Barnes & Noble? <laughs> yeah, apparently there's a books-only I mean... Barnes & Noble. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Well, uh, thankfully, there's two other Barnes & Nobles in town. So, you know, I pull it up on uh, Google Maps, right? And I'm going to the one that's close by. And drive over there. It's closed. I'm like, okay, well, that's weird. <laughs> check uh, check the site itself. Closed permanently. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> closed permanently. I guess that was the Barnes & Noble that, that the one I was just at was at before, and they moved locations or something. Closed uh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, crap. Well, I'll go to the other Barnes & Noble. That's like 20 minutes away. It's not that far. I'll drive all the way over there. Drive all the way over there, and I'm like, where the heck is this thing? I can't find it. And it's like, the, Google Maps is telling me to turn right. I'm like, but there's a community college over there. I don't see the Barnes & Noble. Anyway, I finally heed the directions of it, turn into the community college. Lo and behold, there's the Barnes & Noble. It's a freaking college bookstore! <laughs> Since when has Barnes & Noble sold college books?! Dude, that's what, so what it's like in the university I'm going to, Liberty. They have a Barnes & Noble on campus that's a college bookstore. Why?! What? <laughs> because they can How long has this been a thing? I don't know. Apparently, <laughs> Barnes and Noble. Apparently, there's three different kinds of Barnes and Noble. There's a toy store Barnes and Noble, a, a college bookstore Barnes and Noble, and a freaking only bookstore Barnes and Noble. Like, what? That's when, really did this, when did Barnes and Noble get like three different like district of stores? What is this? It's, it's like they're opening three different channels. Like, this is the book only channel. This is the toy channel. This is the college <laughs> channel. That's what I felt like. I was like, what? Now, I'm kind of hoping I don't find the sets at my Barnes & Noble, because I want us to stay friends. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, 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 I thought I was the unlucky one, because I checked my him. stores, and there was, like, yeah, nothing, but I didn't go to that many places to be disappointed, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, I, I checked multiple places. I, I It must have been a fluke, because just, like, the only Barnes & Noble... I've checked, like, four different Barnes & Nobles, and the only one that had a, even, like, a glimpse of a 2016 set was the one in town five minutes away from me. <laughs> hey, man. So, so far, you said you drove about one hour and 40 minutes away there and back. No, one hour, 40 minutes away, 
to get there, and then another hour and 40 minutes back. I think that's what he meant. That's... Oh, yeah. oh okay. How, how, how's the gas mileage on your car? It's pretty good, actually, because, yeah. like, I drove through uh, North Carolina into South Carolina, and gas prices in South Carolina are, like, ridiculously cheap compared to North Carolina, so, uh... Oh, cool. It, it actually didn't hurt me that bad. No, but even fancy. still, freaking like Purple Dragon got all the sets! I'm so upset! It was hilarious when you posted it. She was like, I'm going to casually go look today. Oh, hey, here they all are. <laughs> there, there's oh, all of them. I she, she, tell you guys, I talked my way into a Barnes & Noble. I think I, we you, talked you, about you this a bit on TV Talks. You walked into the front door. Kind of a creep. Well, I, talk, I talked about it on TV Talks a bit, but I'll talk about it on the podcast too. Um, so I went to my Barnes & Noble, and uh, I went the day before Christmas. No, no, no. The day before the Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Sorry. Oh. Christmas yeah. Eve, 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 Eve. Christmas Eve, Eve. Right? Eve. I was like, Christmas you know what? Eve, yes. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go to Barnes & Noble, and I'm going to see if I can find one of the sets. So I went there, and they have only 2015 sets out there. And so I had to do my – so I went out, and I scouted all of the employees at Barnes & Noble because you need a certain type <laughs> of employee for this to work on. It can't be somebody who is not interested – you know, who's not like kind of preppy and interested in helping you get what you want. If they're kind of like, yeah, whatever, you're, you're done. They're just going to be like, I'm sorry, we don't have this. Um, if it's someone who is um, like a bit, you know, stern or someone who's busy doing something, they'll also try to get rid of you as soon as possible. So it had to be someone who's kind of doing nothing and, you know, a little preppy. Generally, if you get like a girl, they work best because, you know, they're really, they're, you know, they're, they like books, they're really into it. Uh, and sometimes there's certain guys that work well too. Girls, I mean, some, they listen, like books. I mean, they like if books. you, if you, listen, if you're at a Barnes & Noble, if you work at a Barnes & Noble, the chances are that you like, basically it's just, it's, it's better, you know, on one, one count. But I found this really, uh, found this guy who is, you know, really, you know, kind of. <laughs> then it wasn't even a girl. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'm, it, it would work better. It would work better. Um, basically, what happens? I went to this guy and uh, I had. I butter. gave him. I gave yeah, him a okay. huge sob story about like. Stop story. Stop story. <laughs> stop story. <laughs> I was just outside. This guy took me off, so I was stopping him. I like how you guys are like really nice and patient with my story, and Kyle tries to tell his, and we just like, completely yeah, listen. ruin it. Well, if, he, if he's already told the story before, who cares? The people oh. who don't listen to TTV talks because Star Wars go up right? so, talks then. <laughs> basically, I talked my way with the whole sob story about like my brother and how much I needed to buy something, and I was like, and they were like, all right, what is he looking for? I'm like, oh my god, um, it's like a, it's something, it's like some Lego thing, um, it's like bionic something. Um, hold on, give me one second. Let me look at my phone. Um, oh come on, you can at least know the name B-I-O-N-C-L-E. Can you look look that up? And he's like, I'm I'm sorry, we don't have the, those wait, new sets. Wait, I'm cool. missed a letter. Wait, wait, did, did is that literally how you told him? Yeah, yeah, no, I told him the wrong spelling first, and then I gave him the, the actual spelling later. And then I was like, oh, it's, they're called Uniters. Yeah, you, yeah. You you looked at your phone and you wouldn't have the correct. Sp- well, I was he looking. Does not I was like, on, I was blatant on, lying on, to get what you right, want. Okay. So and then, so then he was like, "Well, okay, I'm sorry, man." And I was like, "Listen, can we just?" He's like, "Is it okay if I look in the back?" He's like, I, I, I said he gave me a picture. This is what the picture looks like. I get a picture of like the, you know, it was actually Purple Dragon's picture. <laughs> I was like, "This is my brother sent me this photo of uh of the sets he saw." I, like, I don't know, I don't know if this Barnes Noble might be in a, a different one, but he said it looks something like this. And he's like, "All right," he's like, "Can I just go in back and look?" You know, because like, and he's like, "All right, man, you know what? Yeah, you know, we'll just we'll take you in back. We'll see if you find anything." So he took me back, and there was nothing. That was unfortunate. What? what but, uh, so wait, did you like open pa- Car- the story had no payoff? And told him to give him the no, money. no payoff. The payoff. I, was ha- I, like, like, I, I sat front. through that for no payoff. Well, Vars had I mean, no like, payoff you sat, Yeah, you sat through mine with no payoff too. So. <laughs> Your payoff like, was the running around oh, everywhere. Your payoff was gone. Right. Your so wait, wait, did 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 you, did you like? Fired. Did you like open like boxes or anything, or were like did you just look at like the shelves back there with like the stock just kind of sitting there? Yeah, no, I mean I couldn't. I I asked about the boxes. He says we can't open them, and I was like, that's probably where they are. Yeah, so that's, that's probably hmm. where they are. Yeah, so but, I mean, like that was like that was the best I could do. I can't convince him to go and disobey co- company policy and open up the boxes, even though he kind of disobeyed company policy by wanting me back there in the first place. Opening boxes would have been too much. You know? Yeah, it's like that's that's a bit too much crossing yeah. the line there. Right, right. It's like looking, yeah. letting you peek back there is like one thing. But yeah. Right. I mean, with him watching me, I can't steal anything. You know, I'm not going to yeah. be like, yeah. But it's the different thing to open those boxes. I did convince a Target employee to open the boxes last year. Um, 
at my local Target. So, but where they were probably already planning on opening the box. Yeah, they were. They was she. They were on a cart already outside. Yeah. And I was like, can I open yeah. these? And she was like, yeah, sure, you can open them. Kahi confirmed for Purple Man. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just Get like me man, the bionicle it, sets. It's not so much that like I wasted my time going to these places and not find anything. It's that I wasted my time and freaking Purple Dragon gets on and like she's even like oh yeah I'm gonna check my target at am uh, or my Barnes and Noble and I'm like I mean don't get your hopes to or uh, don't get your hopes up purple because like they likely won't be there I've already checked multiple places and they weren't there <laughs> and she's like oh yeah I understand she freaking got every single freaking one <laughs> it's and then awful. what makes it worse is that there's no bionicle sets anywhere but freaking Nexo Knights is all over the place. <laughs> Nexo I'm Knights. so sick of seeing Nexo Knights at my nice store. Thing. I went to my Barnes and Noble, and they didn't even have a toy section. They were just like spread out throughout the store. They had different displays, so I had to walk around the whole store to find what I was looking for. But they did have Nexo Knights on some random table in the center of the store, alongside like mechanical, like robot toys, and remote control. You mean Bionicle? And, like, <laughs> Of course, they didn't have an old bionicle set. They didn't have one set. It's like, and there's mechanical. Oh, they were right there. Yeah, you're yeah. on. <laughs> what if, what if bionicle is buried in in those sets? I looked. Piles. What thoroughly. if bionicle is buried in those sets? I looked that way <laughs> thoroughly. I like destroyed that table. New no, yeah, campaign so you, you're... for bionicle that are hidden inside the Nexo Knight sets. If you want one, you got to try and find one that has it in there. <laughs> Yeah, you buy, like, buy as many to get um, next it's, it's like Knights the golden as ticket. you can. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's like the golden I, I ticket. I think in this case, <laughs> Nexo Knights are like the barnacles of the community right now. Yeah, I went to Target on Christmas Eve, and uh, the shelves were barren. It sold out of like everything, yeah. but they had a few Nexo Knights sets out. Should have gotten one. No, that's, no, how, okay. that's how it's been like everywhere I've gone. Like nice. Walmart, Target, Barnes & Noble, Nexo Knights, everywhere, every single store. I all, scanned them on the, the price place. database and it claimed that the set was not in stock. I just had <laughs> yeah, to, uh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. I, don't I had to wonder. How I, had, I had to like pause for a second and I'm like, okay, so if I look this up on Brickseek, it's gonna say it's not in stock, and uh, the Bionicle sets also say that. So I wonder if the Bionicle sets are just in the back waiting to be put out and they're not showing up as in stock. Oh, they are. I absolutely <laughs> guarantee most stores have got received now, their January <laughs> shipment. Apparently, on our message boards. Uh, it's not Barnes and Noble, but or Target, but Toys R Us. One of our message boards members said that he has a friend that w- works at TRU. Oh, Varner, and he said eh? they're getting a shipment today at the time of this recording, which is a Saturday. And Var, you said you had a friend at TRU as well. Yeah, I've got a friend that works at. I thought you were actually talking about me. I'm like, wait, why are you talking about a no, 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 the message this boards? Is two people. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah, I, I I got a friend that told me that the ship, like the January shipment of products, is it's coming today already. Like yeah. that came in last night, so that's what I'm assuming that they they most stores probably already have the sets in the store in the back. They just haven't actually stocked the shelves yet, and I'm assuming they're probably not going to for like the rest of the week, to be honest. Sure, because they're probably because <clears throat> the whole the whole point of the retailer thing. This is why a lot of people like they're like, oh, why don't they sell Bionicle sets like before Christmas? You'd think they'd want the Christmas crowd to get them. That that's not how it works actually, because like like retailers have to buy the stock in advance, in bulk. So they're buying, like, tons and tons of sets that they're planning on reselling to make that profit back. But, like, if they don't sell those sets, they're actually losing money. So Christmas time is actually the best time of the year to sell all your old stuff that you haven't sold yet, rather than selling the new stuff. So they're actually going to wait until January to put new stuff on the shelves because they want to get rid of all the uh, things they've already bought so they can make that money back. That makes or a lot of sense. Least, or just after Christmas. So yeah, that nice being said. Day. That being so. said, I went to my Walmart uh, Christmas Eve to see if, you know, anything was there too. The the store was like, you know, you go to the Lego section, all the Star Wars stuff gone. It's yeah, yeah. Star Wars was like, I mean, there are so many Lego Star Wars stuff over gone. I think they might it's actually a smart restock. Strategy. I think it might you like restock some of the newer stuff because all the old stuff is gone for Lego. No, yeah, There's yeah, so yeah, much yeah, they absolutely space will. So yeah, with, they might with do that, that like space. They're going yeah. to restock it. So yeah. possibly, I mean, I should go and check now and see if they uh, they have yeah. some some sets see, or something. The issue is it it's like depending on like the store. It's like a store to store basis. Like if your store like sold all their stock on Christmas Eve, 
and like the shelves are empty right now, they're probably going to restock the shelves with all the new sets. And I'll tell you, but, my Target like, did that, so I'll be checking soon. Yeah, see, so I would recommend checking. Like, my Toys R Us, I already know they've got the shipment, but I went to check, and, like, they didn't sell through all that stock. That Their shelves are still pretty filled up right now, so I'm not expecting them to have the new set until January. Same with Toys R Us, yeah. I, I, my, the Target that I guarantee was pretty empty, uh, so I think that, like, Target might be the fun now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just a... Uh, it's one of those things that we have to worry about that I imagine most people are probably going to be like, yeah, I'm just going to wait till January 1st. <laughs> yeah. That's like, for, for, the, for the YouTube listeners to this episode, this will be a non-issue. Yeah, exactly. And chances are we're going to get the majority of them pretty soon after this anyway, before this episode comes out. Yeah. Which, by so, the way, maybe. if you are watching this on YouTube, you can check out the next episode on Vessel at Vessel.com forward slash TV channel. For nice. free. Yeah, 20 much. minutes in. You, you'll probably find our, uh, our opinion to the sets there. <laughs> yeah. You should. You can. Definitely check out Vessel, guys. It helps out the show. Helps us make podcasts. Helps us drive around and waste our time and try to find sets so that we can make videos for you early in advance. Helps us, yeah, helps us and get gas money. And then laugh at them on the podcast. I mean, it's a I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, but, I, but it is kind of fun, like the hunt going out from place to place. It is like, fun. Like, it is fun. I love it's the like, hunt. I don't love it's, the it's crushing like, It's like real life week seasons, except it's actually meaningful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like I, I'm driving around and I'm also listening to our podcast episodes, the ones that I wasn't in, and like hearing us like talk about the sets just makes me hyped as I'm driving to the Barnes and Noble, hopefully to find the sets. <laughs> That's what you should do, ladies and gentlemen. You should it, listen it, it's to our actually, podcast. It's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it, it it is pretty fun. Funny, but like, it's also I a waste of money. Oh yeah, it's such a waste of money. Like I, I usually like my a town is like walking distance, and at any other town is like is too far away and I don't really know much about the other towns that like surround my town so when I go down my town I'm just walking on my own like listening to music or something like, yeah see that's something one of those you, morons like... who like listens to music while walking around <laughs> cause like yeah like driving cars isn't really like the norm in England is it it's more like For you, me, you guys use isn't... more public yeah it's like well isn't public transport like yeah i use the bus like what majority of people use super expensive not the majority the majority of people drive but it's just like oh really okay yeah you might be thinking thinking of london like in london there's a lot of public transportation but same thing as new york you know like like some people drive in new york but i I would say the majority of new york people use the subway or buses yeah yeah, i just always assumed It makes sense. I've just always assumed that in uh, European countries, most people use public transport. I've assumed like, that too, yeah. Because like the the roads were weren't designed for vehicles oh. all the time, uh, like France. Ever, every time you say bus, I think of like a school bus type thing, or like a Greyhound, which is a type of public transportation between states. When you say bus, do you mean those huge red double decker buses? No, I don't mean that. They are, they're exclusive <laughs> to London. They're, oh. they're not anywhere else. <laughs> they are you, showing your you, ignorance. What racist. you perceive of England is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> all you know about England is Harry Potter. Yeah, all you know about England is our red asking. buses and the Queen. Platform eight and three quarters, right? <laughs> eight. Well, uh, eight. I don't know where it is. <laughs> eight. I, I and, and daylight savings. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the stop story you got there. All but, I mean, like, stop story, stop story. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I mean, like in America, it's like this common like ideal that when you turn sixteen, you get your own car. Like obviously, not that's not me. the case for everybody. Yeah. No, I know, but like, the, yeah, that but, is like. That's but a, the, the that's ideal is that yeah. when you turn sixteen, that's when you should be expecting a car at some point. <laughs> So it's like literally like every American civilian <laughs> usually has like a car. You ever I'm see assuming that, like, that's I'm assuming that's not the same thing there in, um, in Britain. We you don't uh, you're not allowed to drive a car until you're 17. I mean yeah. Well, so it's, it's have you not like uh, and uh, not many people get the chance to do, to uh, get a car because it's so expensive and also driving license and tests and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that like that clip of that one British TV show where like there's a son and a dad and this is like, Dad, am I getting the car because I'm going to uni? And the dad's like, this isn't an American TV show. If I had the money to buy you a car, I'd buy me a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, 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 I think I, I recognize that quote, actually. <laughs> I think I've watched that once. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like 
for I want to get some of the I want to get Umarok and I want to get uh, Tahu um, and Ikir and Liwa and whatever Liwa's what, 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 what's Liwa's Usar. creature Usar. name Usar yeah I want to get those <laughs> and maybe uh, Anua but I also I'm also like a bit more excited for the Star Wars construction I'm with you. and I think I'm the I'm, I don't know if I'm the only one here that's like as excited I think you're in the oh, minority because no. I really don't yeah. care no, about Star I'm, Wars I'm with you like 110% I was not excited until I actually saw how they were built and then I'm like okay these guys are better than the 2016 sets in like almost every way uh, because they have a new torso, but they also have the gearbox, and they also right. have new pieces that go over the gearbox, right, and they right. also have like non-obtrusive builds that don't look ugly because of it. So I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'm I want, I all, like, I want to, I don't want to get all the Bionicle 2016 sets, but I want to get all the Star Wars sets. I don't like, know about all. Like, yeah, I want, but I want, I want, like I, want three I want Ray, I want Finn, maybe not Poe. I want to get three uh, of them. I'm Kylo Ren them. and Captain Phasma and the First Order trooper. One of those. Thanks for so my thing with the Star Wars sets is that I just like I have no interest in displaying like Star Wars figures. Like I don't I don't really like the aesthetic of buildable human characters. It works for yeah. Bionicle because they're like robots. Yeah. And like I, I, I can I can like see how they would look like that. So displaying them looks cool to me. But like as good as the build are for the Star Wars sets, they, they still have that weird. They look like look action to them. figures. Well, I mean, the, the right. evil and people I, and don't. Like, if I wanted to buy Star Wars set to display, I would rather buy something that looks screen accurate. I would buy like an actual action figure, not like a Lego set. Well, that's why I tend to it, gravitate more towards uh, the robotic slash armored characters instead right. of the ones with right. human faces. Yeah, like, like, uh, Kyle, like that. All, the, all the evil Vader. characters. All the evil characters in uh in the new wave are robots. Right. Or like I really like, like Grievous robots. and I like Obi Wan, but like. I want to display Grievous. I don't want to display Obi Wan. You know? Yeah, I understand. I can kind of get you. I, I do like the faces for like Finn and Ray more than I like the face for Obi Wan because I got Obi Wan, and I, I don't like how his face is made. But Ray, uh, Ray I was Finn, real. Oh, okay, all right, fair. All right, maybe not Finn, but Ray. I I I, f- I feel like Ray works a little yeah. better than uh. I guess. How about I understand your rationale for not being hype? Yeah. I, I would like would would be cool is if they figured out a way to make a construction face, like an actual like you build a face, you know, with different like eyes. That'd be re- that'd be very odd. That'd be like It'd be incredibly detailed. That'd be stuff. disturbing. It'd be, It'd be oh, you take his eyes out. Kahi, I know just the toy for you, <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. It was just like I, I was like, what? What can you change the faces of? <gasps> Man, I just thought back to the conversation Honestly, like, with if you Takuma. Could put I was a like, Mr. Potato Head and shrink it down. To, like, and there the are Star like Wars Potato Heads, as we've already re- established. Oh, we yep. there there are. <laughs> Didn't get either of them for Christmas. Oh, my why wouldn't got Santa a bring me a hundred dollar potato head? I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I know where you're coming from with Finn Messer, but uh, let's see, Ray, Ray, I still think looks pretty, pretty good. But maybe it's because she doesn't have hair. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. Yeah. It's see, like it's just like I look at her head and I'm just like that looks great, but then I look at the body and I'm just like that looks that doesn't look like a person. <laughs> 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 it's just like, I don't, I don't want that. It doesn't look good. I don't want that. I you know I I what you uh, you're talking about like in this tense set like Retinance mocks they always look like they're an action figure even though they're made out of construction parts mm-hmm. like they look purely like they're uh, a fully complete figure except you can take them apart so I know you're coming from that but at uh, the same time I'm like yeah. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get Ray Ray is my like I'm I'm definitely gonna get Ray, I'm more you know? hype for uh, Cal- Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma I think both of those were pulled off almost yeah perfectly. Captain Phasma does look really cool that uh. I'm a sucker is that for capes. Like, I need is all that the capes. a new silver color? I don't know anything about colors. Is no, that like it's not. something? It's not no. okay. I, but I it is one of the only colors. figures to be made primarily out of silver, like ever. Right. It was just, I feel like the Bionicle 2016 sets have a different silver to them. Am I wrong? It's not it's the same thing. No, it's like it's like mess of Captain Phasma is the 2008 Mystica in their true form. Yep. Unlock their true potential with a snazzy cape to boot. Of course. Now, Kahi, would you say Ray is Bay? Ray is Bay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm going to she go is, like, I, I now have the I now have Ray as my phone like wallpaper. And we, we moved we into uh, new territory. Well, because I mean, like, well, I, I'm, I'm kidding. It's like it's like the Star Wars. It's a Star Wars. Post. <laughs> oh, no, that's, it's just, that's just a reverse quote. It's like, oh, I, I was joking. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking about it. It is. But like, like it's like, it's a blown up. It's a Star I'm not Wars actually poster, joking so. about it. It is. No, yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm not rolling back on My this. phone yeah. wallpaper is me. <laughs> My, My phone that's wallpaper. A, that's wait, it's you? Strange. Isn't that a little, that's a little weird, right? <laughs> well, the yeah. art purple made of me. Am I going to little? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. my that's phone, cool. my phone background's art purple made of us my in the Tetris thing. It, it was, it was, it was Star Wars art that purple made up until I saw the I don't know what to choose for it. <laughs> if, uh, if, uh, Viper? It's the generic uh, phone background, because I never changed oh, it. Oh, you were so boring. Oh, Wow. Hey, Blame. no. You're all a personality, you freak. No, no, no oh. one knows what my home screen oh. is, though. It might be the craziest stuff you've ever seen. That's true. <laughs> my home it screen right now is super random. the craziest stuff you've ever seen, really. Crazy. I've seen some pretty crazy things, Viper. Yeah, he saw Barnes and Noble once. <laughs> it's funny, I haven't been in Barnes and Noble sure. in years until, like, this recent hunt. It's, uh,. Food yeah. because I'm probably not going to go again after I saw. I have like. zero reason to go. I used to go to Barnes and Nobles all the time, and the last time I was in a Barnes and Noble was last. Uh, no, actually, earlier this year, uh, in a completely other state. I think I still have a and Barnes and Noble gift card that's like ten years old and only has like a few <laughs> cents left on it. <laughs> Use it. Why do you? Why, why would you still have that Barnes and Noble? Because man. I never just got around to throwing it away or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I like Barnes and Noble place. a lot. I go there pretty regularly. Because uh, they serve, like, there's a Starbucks. I would go there more if it was, like, closer to me. (laughs) I've never seen a Barnes & Noble's in my entire life. You don't go to a Barnes & Noble. You go to a pretentious and noble. Pretentious noble. I I go to, (laughs) I get a Starbucks. They have a Starbucks, and they have, like, I already have, like, a quiche... Or like a, a turkey Starbucks club sandwich, nasty. or See, uh, or a soup. You are such oh, a Starbucks. like a typical college kid. Oh, exactly. I go to the Starbucks. Like, like, so the Barnes and Noble. I go to Starbucks. I go there and I'll read. I like I'll read books. I read books and I'll buy one at the end. I'll read like a lot of the. Com- I'll catch up on like some of the comic books I haven't read. Mm. Look up some uh, you know stuff and then I'll, I'll buy a book at the end. So I'll sit there with my hipster shades on. We're reading a Marvel comics while books a million is beneath me. Pumpkin spice double shot. Coffee. Hey, books a million have like a Actually, I liked I liked Books a Million more than I do Barnes and Noble. But Books a Million is nowhere near me. Like absolutely nowhere near uh-huh. me. Really, you like Books a Million more? I actually like Barnes and Noble. I feel like the atmosphere for Barnes and Noble is way better than Books a Million. Do they? I like like well, you know, I haven't. I also have not because it's so far away. I haven't been to Books a Million in a while. I do remember that Books a Million had a lot more books than Barnes and Noble. That's why I liked it. There is a section yeah, on the website books. for uh, Books a Million Lego. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> yeah, but see, like, I, I don't think they actually have, like, a, yeah, like a dedicated have, like, toy a, yeah. section like Barnes & Noble does. Right. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll go there and you'll just see, like, basically that Barnes & Noble that you were at, Meso. My not, Barnes & Noble actually does not have... Well, it does have toys, but it has, like, one shelf of toys. It doesn't have, like, a, a whole toy section. Yeah, see, that's crazy. The one here, like, the whole half of the store is nothing but toys. That's interesting. I've just I've never seen a Barnes and Noble like that before. I'll have to, I'll, I guess I should like I should go and visit that Barnes and Noble once I move out uh move out east. Yeah. We'll be like we're in that area. You know, it is kind of, I guess it, it, it's kind of a small Barnes and Noble now that I think about it though. It's not like a really big one. So I guess half the store is really not that big <laughs> in comparison. Well, yeah, I mean, but you know, even still, that's like it's a it's a it's a good thing. You know, Barnes and Noble. Well, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll do what you're going to say. Yeah, no, just something stupid. Please contribute. Okay, um, Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> Barnes and Noble. This is. Wow, that's well, the I mean, what I'm going to say. You made that. I what know you were finally Disney. learning, no, LJ. Are you kidding me? I say stupid stuff to say Christmas stupid stuff miracle. to get reactions all the time. Yeah, no, this no, is no, such. Right, right. We are Look making so much progress. I, pre- I appreciate you for admitting. The I feel truth. like the okay. fates have changed. Var, where's the nearest Barnes and Noble? Go there now. I have to go. That's a sign. Yeah, it's it, it's good karma for uh, the change in the leak policy, right? <gasps> Speaking oh. of karma, that reminds me of a story Man. that happened. No, but watch me have a perfect transition. <laughs> Stop <laughs> messing it up, Takuma. Thank you, Viper. Shut up. Hold on, Viper's like, I see that segue. I'm just going to destroy it now. Com. Segway <laughs> fail. <laughs> Listen, that's not. It's not your Viper segue fail. Did you not did give a, really a crap about, about your segue, Viper. That's what I want. Your new title Let's on the see, message. Let's see. Here's one of Paul Blart falling off a segue. That was awesome. 
Uh, here's a sec. <laughs> what does that got to do with John Cena? All that tells me is that Viper was just not listening to a single word you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> this was looks like listening. a segue. At no, she's thinking karma. She listened. She just didn't execute like the proper thing. All right, we'll, let, let's talk about the league policy. But Viper, what were you gonna say? What, oh. what was your thing? Uh, don't bother now. It, it, it was just like I heard <laughs> oh, the word karma and I got triggered and was like, "Oh, that reminds me of something." And that's it. What was that? What was the something? Yeah, no, you you screwed us up now. Yeah, no, 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 and uh, basically, oh my, my dad spilled hot chocolate all over my, all over me, like in front of everyone in the store, like all down my what clothes and everything. And I was just standing there, like, well, what the hell? And then Christmas Eve comes, and my dad like comes over with all the presents, and he's like, "Guess what happened to me?" And I'm like, "What? <laughs> my my <laughs> my girlfriend spilled coffee all over me." <laughs> and I'm like, "Karma!" <laughs> that was it. That wow. was the story. <laughs> that was the story. You happy now? No. What did that have to do with what we were talking about? <laughs> the way you said that, too. The way you said karma reminded me of, like, Star Trek Into Darkness. And, like, the, the other Star Trek movies were, like, like when he dies, it's like, karma! Just, <laughs> Star Trek Into Darkness, dude. The way you said star reminds me that I just saw Star Wars this week. And, dude, that movie was so good. Like, I had the best oh, oh, experience at Star-, Star Wars this week. It reminded me you spoiled me. Oh, dude, the way you said spoils remind me about how I left the milk in my fridge for too long and it spoiled and, like, I spilt it all over my dad. And, <laughs> oh, dude, the way the way I said dad just reminded me of the time I visited my dad. <laughs> the way you said spilt reminded me of leaks of the milk. Hey, the leaky milk. Bring it all dude, back. Bring it back. <laughs> See the leaks, man. Hot oh, chocolate the way leaks you over leaks you. leaks reminds me. What? Of vegetables. Continue. Yeah. So... <laughs> The leak thing happened. You don't need to... Like, we made, like, two videos on it. Uh, I would urge you, if you have not seen our announcement, you should go check out those videos. But uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for being so supportive and for being so I really so thought we were going to have a different conversation. I really I'm thought not, we were really going to come on this podcast gonna, yeah, and have I, to, like, address hate comments and debate for, like, an hour. Yeah, but uh, most, ourselves and most our, our everybody seems to be on the same page. Even the people that don't agree or like the decision are willing to give us the benefit of the doubt and not go crazy on us and not leave, and that's really appreciated. <coughs> the holiday could have been pretty uh, pretty bittersweet, but it yeah, wasn't like really. honestly, like some of these are like some of the most positive comments like we've like ever gotten. <laughs> it's actually like really heartwarming. It like, is. We've, we we made this big decision, like thinking, like, oh man, we're gonna lose like half of Shooting our subscribers. People foot. are gonna hate us. We're gonna be the laughing stock of the internet for like months on end until we finally rebound. Nope, it's. I mean, this has been like great. Like I was just like I don't know. I don't even know how to describe the emotions I was feeling. It's awesome. It filled, <coughs> a, it filled a void for Var. Hmm. What? Yeah. Instead of Bionicle, you're getting joy in a different way. I mean, I would rather have Bionicle. Christmas okay. cheer and goodwill towards TTV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I know. That was... Uh, it, you should definitely uh, check out those leak videos, though. Yep. I mean, they're, right. they're, yeah. They're, 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 if you haven't seen them yet. I, I like that we're calling them leak videos, videos. Like, they're actual Check videos out about the leaks. videos about <laughs> leaks. <laughs> what, yeah. if, what if these videos got leaked? <laughs> like, we intended to release them, but somebody else got a hold of them first... The oh, just copy it from Vessel and just like put it up online. Exactly. That or would be we could. that would be pretty ironic, I guess. That would be, but it didn't happen. So yeah. wasting your time. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know why we're talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, what else has been going on, guys? Wow, that's quick. Did you any, Nothing you else. Did anything for like it was that. awesome. I'm insulted by that. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much to address. Like, I thought we'd be spending, like, half an episode just, like, going over comments about, like, why we said this and why we think you're wrong about this. But she's like, the comments are just really tame for there once. Is, uh, there is yeah. one thing I want to address, and that is, like, some people are like, well, I, I support you guys. Unless you get early sets from LEGO, in which case you are sellouts. 
<laughs> that has right, been like, a thing. Listen, we're gonna stop illegally distributing your images, but you gotta give us your sets early. Yeah, it's, it's like, not, this has all been one big blackmail paying off. It's like, right, we'll, exactly, we'll, like, we'll show your leaks to everyone if you don't. Well, no, you won't, and we're not doing. Oh yeah, we'll watch show your us. Leaks to everyone. <laughs> And just now, Lego's like, no, please, please, stop. Stop it, we can't take it anymore. No, Mega Bloss is releasing the leaks, another man. Battle Blocks. <laughs> wow. Battle Blocks. It's like, it's like a picture of like a bunch of vegetables on a table. It's like, I'm going to show this to everyone. Uh, no. <laughs> I get it, the leaks. I mean, like, the, I the, like, the thing that I feel we should get across is that we are not, this isn't a trade-off. It's not like we made a deal with Lego and we're like, all right, we'll stop leaks if you give us sets. And they're like, all right, sure, we'll do that. It's... This is like we're purely just, we're doing this and we're doing this regardless. It's not like it, it came out of our own thing. We, it wasn't yeah. like a lawsuit. It wasn't anything that brought us on. It was literally the impact that it had on our community and how much we saw it and how much we decided to, to change. Uh, that being said, we've always been going to words trying to get you know uh, an R log, and it's not like that was part of the conversation too. Is that this might be a reason why you know you know to to help us better achieve that too. So. I'm not trying to disfigure it and be like, no, we're you know we're, this is this is never part of the discussion. It was very much a part of the discussion, but just because that might be a goal in the future doesn't like a good something done of good intentions doesn't have to be altruistic. I guess like people are like, it's not right. just that we're doing it. It's like, oh well, you have to do it and you have to get nothing from it. Otherwise, then it's not you, you weren't doing it of any intention at all. <coughs> this is we feel it's good for the community as a bonus. Nobody you know, ever does anything without getting something out of it. Right. Even yeah. if you, like, like good feelings. Yeah, good you get like, you know, the emotional gratification of giving something to somebody and seeing, you know seeing their like you know, like if you donate money to something you get that emotional mm-hmm. gratification no matter what. So it's it's not but that's not to take away from the fact that we are doing this regardless. This isn't the main reason we're doing it. It is part of the conversation we have because we have been talking about, you know, getting these early sets for a long while. That's a separate discussion that was tied up and part of the discussion that we did when it came to leaks. But it was it's definitely like, not the only part of that discussion. And it's a very minor part of a large discussion about what it's doing to the community, what it's doing to us on the podcast, what it's doing to Lego's competition, you know, how it's hurting our relationship with the people that we talk to, like Marilyn Mann and uh, Tommy Anderson, you know, and all these people. Right. It, it's like if Superman saved a city... And then was awarded the key to that city because of that action. Just because he got an award out of the action doesn't suddenly mean what he did wasn't a good deed. <laughs> well, yeah. Superman that was a, a that, that was a, character. That was an interesting analogy, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just like for for whatever reason, a lot of people just assume that like it's suddenly us like getting something out of it negates the action itself. It's like, part of the like, yeah. whole concept no of right. like the concept of like selling out too is just like but people will get mad if people make money off doing something that they enjoy. Like they'll be like, "All right, well you guys were great, you know, when you were still doing this, but like now that you're making money off of it, now you're you've sold out." It's like, you know, it's no longer thing. So Yeah, like so like where, where what at what point did the content stop like being good just because they started making money off of it or what? Like right. what what actually changed? I can it's say just in some suddenly cases, you don't like the fact that you're making money off of it. That's right. What it was. I guess you could right. say in some cases you may question like the motives of the actual person who's making the content and if they are making money then they may not put as much effort in it, but that barely happens. Usually It's exactly well, the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. The opposite. It pushes motivation usually because yeah, you're being money paid usually for makes it. it better quality. Like it's so, never so gonna be like, hey, I can make this one video. But you can you get paid for it, and that's so gratifying to have. Which a job. allows you to spend more time on it and spend like money on better resources to work on it. Right, right. Exactly. it's all about the investment thing. Not it goes saying back that, 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 you know, that's people right. are sell. Not saying that people can't be sellouts, but most people usually react positively to receiving yeah. money. For I feel. Want. I guess that perspective is kind of like when it like. I see it a lot in the music industry when, like, a band or whatever, like, becomes profitable. Right, right, They're right. suddenly less good than they were before. That's, like, the whole hipster which, culture, right? Like, I liked them before right. they were mainstream. Like, okay, cool. Right. But you do realize that the band you enjoy is now able to do this for a living now because they're so big. And now you're like, well, I don't... I, I stopped listening to them because, you know... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, now they've now got more time and more money. resources. Yeah, now uh, they're all the about the money. Money. 
I hate yeah. it when that happens. Yeah, it's like but now yeah. they, they've got the, they've got more time and resources there's, to put into the thing that you saying, were enjoying, and for some reason that's a bad thing now. There's an old saying that money corrupts. That is completely false. Money spreads right. the base. Yeah. I just I don't I really don't understand that mentality at all. Right. Yeah. I know. Again, that's the thing where it's like you can't you can't profit from this uh, in any way because that if you like good intentions are only things that are done without for any yeah for like without <laughs> anything it has to be a purely negative thing that happens to you that's what makes it a good intention. It's like I mean, <laughs> like what are you trying to say then? Are you trying yeah. to say that a lot of charities are like not trying to help people? They're only trying to make money. Like, some of them might. <laughs> some of them. I want to yeah, yeah, preface this. Like, okay, okay. You're right. But, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I I'm with you. With but... absolute certainty that all right. charities, hey, all that. social enterprises <laughs> do it for the cause, okay? But most Coney, of them. Coney 2012, man. Got to gotta help those kids. Got to help. Got to help those kids, even though we've been doing it for 20 years. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I've seen no change whatsoever. What's happening out there? <laughs> Let's not get into this. Yeah, okay. I'm not yeah, going into yeah. that. But. We'll, 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 uh, we'll, pull, we'll pull back on it. But yeah, uh, so, <laughs> I mean, like, in, in, that's the only, like, comment that I really have to, like, I feel like we should address. I heard people are like, well, I'm, I'm subscribing because I only followed this channel for weeks, which is, all right, you know, hey. Good. No, yeah, that's, yeah, we, that's yeah we, knew, we knew they were leaving. We, we knew that, you know. I don't, I don't even care about people leave. I just care if people are jerks about it. And Yeah. I don't care. Honestly, if that... If that's why you were here, then the, I mean, like that's why you were here. So, like, if we're gonna stop doing that, then obviously you're gonna leave. Makes yeah. sense. The thing that I don't really understand is like why we were getting so many comments, like about people, like I guess they're worried for our well-being, but it's like comments like, "You guys realize that doing this, you're gonna lose half your subscribers, man. Like, it's gonna really hurt you." Yeah. But it, like the thing, I guess can. the thing they don't really understand is if like most of the subscribers that are subscribed to our channel for leaks. They're only watching the videos about leaks. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, the yeah, leaks are not content, twice a year. They're not watching. Right. Yeah. We only <laughs> have two. Le- there's only two leak seasons a year, and there's only so many videos where there are leaks actually being covered. So, like, those people that subscribe to us, they're only going to watch those videos. Right. Meaning they're not yeah. actively contributing to our views, to our uh, to our revenue, to our subscriber um, count is on the whole a pointless metric. Yeah, right, really like they're is. not actually doing anything for our analytics at all. So we it's have like losing three, almost twenty three thousand subscribers, and we get like an average of what three thousand views, an average. I mean, on that, it's, it's it's a ten percent rule. <laughs> like usually the subscribers, the followers, the whatever on whatever social media, ten percent of those people will actively follow your stuff. So yeah. that's what you. So like right now, like if you <laughs> have so many, you know, like. Jang has, you know, so many subscribers. About ten percent of those people are people that regularly watch every one of his videos, and they're his actual audience. If you have so many friends, if, usually you can track this on Twitter. If you have like, you know, uh, three hundred friends on on like Twitter or three hundred followers, three hundred followers on Twitter or three hundred friends on Facebook, usually you get around twenty to thirty likes per status. That that's how it comes. In. It's like an evolution of the eighty twenty principle, except for social media, it's like ninety ten. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, sure. it's so the the number is superfluous. We want people, the people that we're interested in are the two thousand, the three thousand or so people that watch almost every one of our videos. Right, those, those are, are the, the audience we actually make videos. Yeah, we, and, and all the ones we actually watch, watch our videos. And yeah. even more, the people on Vessel because Vessel is so much better than Vessel YouTube at this for rate us. is like so so. Vessel so, is carrying so. our channel. <laughs> Vessel <laughs> is enabling us to do so many things. That Vessel is a godsend. The, Vessel uh, like, is the carry you, of the team. You should. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, their carrying is down middle. You should definitely, if you want to, like subscribe. You know, if you want to actually help us out, it's three dollars a month. You can play PayPal or credit card. For watching our Hello, videos on Vessel. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this again. Watching videos on Vessel, the best way you can help us out. Kai, like, stop selling down. out. Oh, yeah, are yeah, you making Kahi, money you're a terrible off of that? person. <laughs> are you making money? You're How making you? money. You're a terrible human being. Get no, out of here. But yeah, but yeah no, it, I, I feel like a, a lot of it, it's all about perspective. A lot of people is as viewers and not content creators, they look at that subscri- that subscriber count right. as the key to success. So like channels with lots of subscribers are are very successful, but channels with low subscribers aren't. But as we all said, like that number is really superfluous. That does not matter at all. Subscribers is a very bloated, a very 
useless metric. If you actually yeah, right. want to look at a channel's success, you need to look at the views per video. That's what but actually even, matters. I, yeah. Honestly, I would say even beyond that, I would say sometimes your views are even superfluous. It's the yeah, people it, that it, are they actively are. engaging. Like, the views are our are, are best metric to see how many people are engaged with a certain product. But, like, like a good example is Avatar is the number one grossing movie right now. I don't know if Star Wars will engross it. But Avatar is the number one movie of all time, right? When Avatar 2 comes out, people are not going to camp out and wait days to see Avatar 2. They'll do that for Star Wars because Star Wars, even though it, it might have made less money per movie, has a de- very dedicated following. Same thing for right. Star Trek. For Avatar does not have a huge fan base. It doesn't With have that. that. Side, I do want to mention that I'm pretty sure Jurassic World beat out uh, Avatar, and I'm pretty sure Star no, Wars just no. beat out Jurassic World. Uh, they did an opening, like, opening box office, but not in total gross. Avatar has $4 oh, okay. billion. Uh, the Gosh. next one is like it's a uh, Titanic with two billion, I think, and then like Avengers Darn was you, James after that. Cameron making money. Yeah, James uh, Cameron. Although, although Jurassic Dude. World might have beat out Avengers, I don't think it beat out Avatar. I think um, it topped off at like a billion. Well, it's it's so. kind of like those viral videos, isn't it? Okay, like, no, you're right. Like Charlie bit my finger. Like those people got yeah, exactly. so much money for like a stupid thirty second video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the majority those people, of viral people, videos yeah, are like that. Yeah, so they'll nice. get those people views, will never but... watch anything else that that, that, right. that channel makes. Yeah, um, exactly. The only difference is if you make a lot of content like that, like Pew- like uh, not PewDiePie. Yeah, PewDiePie is an example of this, but Markiplier, yeah. I feel, is a, a good example that happened this last year, where he was like he had a decent following and he did the Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Play, and then <laughs> that blew up <laughs> his channel. Yeah, that I'm literally fair. he is now like one of the top YouTubers right now because of that game. Five he was on the YouTube phrase, rewind. Man. He was invited out to go to like all that stuff. So that yep. kind of thing is just tying it back. It's all about the viewers that are engaging with us. Those are the people you want to keep. Yeah. And so the people right. that are leaving us because of weeks, sure, our subscriber count might go down, but they are only like, you know, watching. About the majority of them are only videos. watching a small percentage of our videos, and I guarantee you, those same people. They're only watching it for the leaks, for the news. They don't actually care about us as people or us as like content creators or our or, or yeah or our personalities or any of the other videos they wa- that we make. So it's likely that most of those people probably have ad block on as well. Right. Yeah. So That's they're the probably truth. not helping us one bit. Right. <laughs> the, the the numbers that they are generating are completely superfluous. Right. And uh, yeah, it's basically so. I mean, it, it sucks. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's not to like discredit them as like people like it'd be great to have more viewers and more subscribers like actively engaging but the reality of the matter is that they they aren't they're not interested no they're not the they're not our audience if we had to lose an audience in your channel i mean it's like if we had to lose part of our audience this is the part that i would be okay with letting go because they view so little of our content over time and they they really contribute over to the list now i mean obviously we don't want anybody to leave but the fact is that some people are there just for this one reason, and we understand that, and, you know, we don't appeal to everybody, and yada yada. We were so expecting a lot worse than what actually happened. We were happened, expecting though. a lot worse than what actually happened. I believe, like, I mean, haven't we kind of, like, you know... The uh, the amount of subscribers we lost because of the leaks has was negated after a day of that announcement. We lost, right. like, I think... Uh, it was 30, less than 50. I think, I think it was about 30 or 40 people, yeah. And we right. literally gained that number back the, the following day. So yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it, it did not hurt us one bit. We're currently over what we had the day of the announcement. Which is the best, so just like ex- surprising to me. Because even after all this, I thought we had a lot more people who were here just because of leaks. I, I did too. Did. I thought I thought that we were simp- like a lot of people just viewed us as the leak curators. I didn't right. know that many people actually actively engaged with us, but it seemed like a lot of people are willing to stick around regardless. Right. I saw a lot of new people commenting great. and saying like, "Hey, I'll stick about you guys. I'm you know I'm really glad that you're doing this." I got a message on Tumblr just the other day that was like, "Hey, you know, I just wanted to say that you know I view your content. I don't comment a lot, but uh, you know, I, I was oh, I, don't, I don't know if he said that exactly, but you, I, I didn't I didn't recognize that name a lot." And he was like, "Yeah, so you know, I support what you guys are doing. I think it's a it's a great thing that you guys are giving." Up. Right, uh, and the, yeah. the the thing that I really enjoyed was like, like seeing a bunch of people comment on that video, giving us really like high like praise, I guess, but just mostly really like feel good positive comments. Right. But a lot of those comments were from people that I don't usually see comment. Right, which that was, was very that was great. nice. I I loved seeing people that are willing to stick around, stick with our channel, watch our content, who maybe don't like actively contribute to like the like the discussion, discussion going on, but they're still there. Right. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean kinda, that's how kinda, I interact yeah. with a lot of the people I follow. 
is that I'll watch all their videos and I keep up their videos almost religiously uh, for several people, aka Rooster Teeth. But never <laughs> once, never <laughs> once do I comment. I, I don't comment on anything. Yeah, I don't comment either. Right. No, and I... so it is great to, see, to hear from these guys who are like myself, you know, who will watch all our content, enjoy it, and they just don't comment because, you know, somebody just have anything to say. Yeah, yeah, it's just nice to know that they're there because, like, sometimes we forget. Sometimes it's like, you, especially with YouTube comments, a lot yeah. of the times, mo- the majority of the comments are either very uh, spam ish or, yeah. or, or negative. Or, or, or the- very negative, yeah. And it, like, as content creators, it can be kind of difficult to really gauge the positive versus the negative. Because, like, I mean, think about it. When you like something, you usually have no reason to voice your opinion because, I mean, you liked it. So it's like, okay, well, like, I like that video. I'm going to come back and watch more. But when you don't like something, it's easy to go on and be like, yeah, I didn't like this. Because you want to tell them you didn't like it. Right. Yeah. You want and to have that opinion heard. Exactly. <coughs> because you have something to say. You, you, most people are like, well, if I like it, I just, you know, I just watched the video. I liked it. And yeah, you don't need to say anything uh, if you like it. Likewise, with yeah. all these, like, positive reinforcements we've been getting. When everything is going right and everything's going well, there's no need for you to come out and, like, always say all these positive yeah, things. Yeah, and be like, hey, you know, But when people's like, backs are against the wall and there's actually, like, negative stuff going on that could potentially affect people, that's when everybody shows their support. And it's mm-hmm. really, it's really nice. Right. Yeah. So it's like the, Yeah. It's just like we don't usually get that kind of positivity often. So it was really. It was really honestly eye opening just to see like how many people were actually like supporting us. It was. I it mean, was, it was great. It was pretty it was wonderful. Really nice. I was not expecting it at all. It, <laughs> yeah. it was so awesome. It's very heartwarming. Yeah. How empathetic everyone was in the comments. While most people were in the comments. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. I feel like on the internet people are very opinionated. And come across very as like and cynical. Look, yeah, just, very cynical I, yeah. and over opinionated. So just seeing like this bridge be like right, but met. like, but that's because you that's the people you see on the internet that say so. Uh, yeah, and that, so that that kind of goes hand yeah, in hand. Exactly. With what, yeah, right, that's said. the people who are complaining. Or you know, it's like yeah, because not yeah. not only is it like people who like are complaining because they have something to say, but usually it's the people that like just kind of just like like to be upset and love to complain about things mm. too yeah, that you get a lot of times commenting. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's like yeah, it, thing, yeah. It, it's easy to forget like who your audience is sometimes because right. sometimes get, the like, people get, that like you don't say anything you get a hundred comments but you get three thousand views in that video what somebody along the other like, yeah the, 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 again again it's an, it's a 90 10 principle going again it's like out of all the people that watch this video only a select few are going to comment and that's going to be and, and that keeps going down and down the line so you know out of mm-hmm. out of the subscribers, ten percent of them watch the video. Out of the ten percent watch the video, ten percent of those people are going to comment. So we get like, you know. and out of the ten percent of those people that commented, only ten percent actually left. Hey. <laughs> hey, yeah, oh, that's also that's also another thing. A lot of people will say stuff and then like not follow through. We're like, I'm, I, if you don't change this, I'm going to unsubscribe. And sometimes they just don't do it. Which uh, is, my thing is, okay. I love it when people try to use unsubscribing as a oh threat God. to us <laughs> to change something. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That that that's a personal like favorite that's, of mine. Yeah, that yeah, that right. makes me giggle every time I see yeah, it. Yeah, it's like all right, all right, cool. All right, yeah, you go ahead and unsubscribe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yeah, it's like a over dramatic teenager. It's like mom, I'm leaving the house. I'm moving out. And she's like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the same. Of course, that's your attitude. You don't understand me anyway. now, mom. <laughs> and then the mom. This is just who I am. The mom just turns around. And she's like, he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back when he gets hungry. But yeah, right. no, it's like <laughs> pretty much all, all those comments supporting us. They they meant a whole lot. I guess you could say our heart grew three sizes that day. Okay, you know what? I thought I thought you were actually going to do something. I thought Who's you were actually going to be that? like. like, I, just wanna make, like <laughs> I just wanted that one, that one Christmas reference. Kahi, we have the episode. same ringtone, and my phone also went off during this episode. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, hold up. Uh, this is a oh, hold, hold up. up. <laughs> hold up. Hold, hold, hold up, up, guys. Stop, stop the show. Stop 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 my phone. How do we know? How do we know this is? I mean, this is your phone or my phone? That's right. Oh, I mean, obviously How do we it's know your phone. If this is your phone or my phone? Let me look at it. Pretty easy. I uh, would think. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, let's stop yeah. this iPhone emotional moment. Oh, hey, it actually did. Mine didn't because I don't have anyone to hold up. He said, "I'll buy mine." Okay. Alright. And I We're still good. haven't found what I'm looking for. Is there anything else you have to talk about, Woo! <laughs> <Take a plus laughs> we finally dick. got there! Yeah! That was a that was a really great bit, Var. It took an enti- like that was an entire episode <laughs> just to get there. That was amazing. 
<laughs> Thanks. I know, man. I'm, yeah, I'm kind yeah. of a big deal, dude. <laughs> kind of yeah, big I, deal. Did you know oh. that I have a YouTube channel? It's got like 21,000 subscribers, and we like do videos about like financial stuff and yeah, everything. Kind of Yo, what a nerd. Yeah, I, I'm, pr- I'm pretty cool, dude. You should, uh, yeah, should hang out with me. <laughs> sure. So I'll, I'll see if I can about. fit that into my busy schedule, which just got freed up. <sighs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So well, what I did we get it. for Christmas, everyone? Uh, we I got, I got a so. teaser trailer. That's what I got for Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Is that what like was a that about? trailer? <laughs> yeah. No. No. It's like. It's the other thing we're supposed to talk about. I'm, I'm oh, doing the right. thing, the Wrong segue trip. thing. Hey, <sighs> I thought what I was kind of trailer. expecting Mesa to lead into that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I was, Mesa, I was expecting like, you to do it because you were the one so, that got contact. Yeah, well, I made a I mean, bad decision. Technically though. speaking, we all got contacted. I was the only one that saw it. Mm. So, but anyway, yeah, no, we were contacted by somebody on our message boards. And how many of you guys are aware of the Bionicle Skyrim mod? Oh, me, I, me. Just he raised his hand. I just <laughs> got back into Skyrim again. Poor decision, I know. So I just reinstalled the current editions of the Toa Race mod and the Toa Weapons mod. I've been aware of this for baited with like I've been waiting for this with, with baited breath. So I'm trying Good to job. say Good for job. years because I actually have Skyrim for the PC. I uh, and, I remember uh, the Bionicle 2015 announcement where they they filmed it in Skyrim the Bionicle mod and then. They, they were like dancing in, behind, uh, in front of Riverwood. And I love that video. It's one of my favorite videos <laughs> the of all time. The looks up and everyone's like, it's Greg! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Greg! <laughs> <laughs> well, Funny. what but is yeah, no, uh, so it? Really Legend of the Toa is the name of the mod. And on Christmas, they released a teaser called Toa Races Teaser. And apparently it is a major update. That will contain an updated Toa Sanctuary, new rooms, more space, more items, and more interactive features. That, that is cool. awesome. That is really cool. I'll this is, this mod is probably like my favorite Bionicle fan thing that isn't traditional, like a stop motion thing or a mock. This or is Minecraft. very... Yeah. Or, <laughs> Nothing makes me feel better <laughs> than actually seeing a Bionicle project get completed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, as far wow, okay. as it you know is what, far from completed you know what? at this point. It, it, is it <laughs> throwing us throw under your the own bus? people under the bus. Is it throwing I mean, us under the bus? I mean, Maybe. But I'm we, also saying it's good for the We throw each other under community. the bus all the time. Hey, LJ, remember Biocraft Kahi? Remember On it Air? Just, it just brings me RPG. It just, it just makes me feel really, really great. Especially with stuff like this. Stuff like Metronui Legacy doing the uh, Okoto Origins video. Just all this, all this cool stuff that just stays yeah. announced, and then it actually comes out. So this is great. But yeah, no, they contacted us on our message boards, and they were inquiring if we could talk about it a little bit. And well, really, that's the majority of what we can say. Go check it out. It's in the no, description it, below. It is, it is really yeah, good. If, if you're a console gamer, then, well, rip. Yeah, rip. Yes. And if you're someone that we happens should, uh, to have uh, if you're developmental Skyrim knowledge... Vanilla, you're you're, missing you're playing out. a trash game, honestly. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> and if me? you're someone that, uh, if you're I, someone that I'm, I'm has just saying, uh, developmental skills... I played Skyrim skills. Straight Up Vanilla first time I played it, and I thought it was good then. Ever since I discovered mods, I just can't help but look at regular old Skyrim and say, wow, this is horrible. If you're someone I mean, that like has Minecraft, de- developmental right? skills with the game and want to help with the project, I think they're uh, looking for new people as well. Oh, yes, yeah. they right. are. They were asking if I we would could if plug I it, it and... Uh, they they would definitely appreciate the, uh, the help. Ah, they said they need to spread word because their team is quite tiny. It's about three or four of them. Which, gotta say, that's impressive if they've really done impressive. this much with yeah. that small They're still going of after this long. I mean, it's been how many years since they first started doing this? It many. has been two years. Only two? Yes, according to the first video on their channel. Oh, well, I, I think it predates the video. I yeah, they so. were obviously working before the video was released. Yeah. Okay, three, four. Not okay, cool to see that you're accurate with all this, but, uh... I, I mean, I, what do you want me to say? I'm not part of the team! I, I, you, I, mean, you I like, want you to say, I don't know, and not, like, Yeah, you, just, like, you threw out money. one one guess that was wrong, and you threw out another guess that was probably wrong. It's I, like, you know what? I don't, say, know, I don't know how long they've been up for. That's what I mean, I mean uh, their first video on their channel. March I think they've been 18, working for five and six. 
I do. Let me see their their blog. I'm gonna go see their blog. See if they have like a time one of my stamp. favorite things about uh, this mod is how much the models and all the stuff they make that's Bionicle themed fit in with the Skyrim aesthetic. 2012. It 2012. feels 12. It look. It doesn't look like out of place. It doesn't look like plastic stuff in Skyrim. It looks like yeah. these models were made. It has good texturing the in it. And it the it's, texture it's tailored to the aesthetic style. God, you know, I had an idea. What if we did a 2001 Machinima inside Skyrim? Oh, yeah, that would get huh? done. Yeah, no, it totally get done. That would get done. Yeah. Yes. Alright, see you in a hundred years, work. guys. Are there Machinima mods for Skyrim? Of course. Yeah, there just, are. It's more than you can say for Minecraft at this you point. You just have to use console and stuff, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Okay. You can find a lot of Skyrim Machinimas, though. Yeah. Fair enough. What would we call that? Bio scroll cops or something like that. I'm watching a bio scroll. <laughs> that just sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> bio scroll. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mojang and scrolls. Yeah, exactly. Say. Well, I'm looking forward to this update again. though. Rip bio scroll dead before it gets started. <laughs> bio yeah, scroll. You gotta yeah, buy your scroll. Add that to the telephone. Kind of a yeah, late so reaction, Kai. No, okay, because my, my call dropped out and it came back and just as Messo said that and I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. Bye. Uh, Decent. Alright, well, you should go check that out. That's, uh, There's a lot of awkward silences in this episode, guys. What the heck is your problem? It's the hey, day after Christmas. We're all kind of like, uh... Oh yeah, speaking of scrolls, do you know that uh, my Mojang stopped making scrolls? Really? I did not Stop know that. developing actually. it, and they're know. also shutting down the servers on July 1st, 2016. Did it do that poorly? Wow. Yes, so. That didn't last wow. long. All I right, mean, guys. That's too bad, because it actually I had, looked like a pretty decent game. I had no interest in that game, and that made sense <laughs> to me that they would shut it down eventually. Yeah. Now that they're yeah. bought by Microsoft, too. Does, does Microsoft own Scrolls? Uh, good question. I'm, I'm assuming so, yeah. They, they, bought, Mojang, they bought Mojang. They probably don't want them Did they develop, buy Mojang? They, they, or they probably don't Minecraft. want them devoting any time and money into scrolls. They probably... I'm, I'm not even joking here. I think we can expect Minecraft 2 within uh, the next two, three oh, years. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. And, I mean, Minecraft 2 will probably be built on a better engine than Java. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably, hopefully, if they're smart, they'll have a mod API out with it. Really? You guys think there'll be a Minecraft 2? I, yes. I, I don't would, think there's going to be Not with Minecraft Mojang, too. but with Microsoft running the show? Yes, I do. I don't yep. think so. I don't think so either. I, think I feel like a, they no would just keep adding on to normal Minecraft. Yeah, I was, and make I was thinking, like, probably... They'd well, just they technically already it. did have Minecraft 2, and it's Minecraft for Windows 10. Yeah, right, yeah, that's, yeah, what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I, could I don't think they're going to actually make a numbered big. Minecraft no, okay, okay, fair enough. I see what you're saying. You don't see them making a numbered sequel. All right. I'll, I think I'll, Minecraft I'll with you will there. eventually, and it's already kind of getting there. Uh, the Microsoft Acquisitions kind of revitalized it, but there's only so far the Minecraft name is going to carry before people start to stop caring. And a sequel is exactly the kind of thing to revitalize interest in the brand. It's like a new numbered entry. There's only so many times you can play Halo for instance before they need to come out the with the next Halo. Is, yeah, but that's not it's not a very comparable you, game though. How do you even make a sequel to Minecraft? It's not like this is right. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly my point. It's going to be gonna super like, bootleg. Unless you're going to like do a complete overhaul of how crafting works and all the unless yeah, you'd have to like it had to be pretty much a different game. Yeah, it's, it's I don't expect it to be a good Destiny. sequel. I expect it to be a sequel for the sole purpose of cashing in and making money. I fully expect there will be microtransactions of some kind. Yeah, oh. but if, in order to make money, you'd have to convince people that there's right, a yeah, the, to buy it, it in the first place. It is. Yeah. It's interesting in Minecraft because Minecraft has existed for so long. That there's basically like all the features that would be new are in mods, and there's so many yep. mods. There's so many things they add. They add more. Like uh, what? What do we use? Techit on our on our server. You know, we had that private pandemic server for a while. We yeah. had tech it and that had like gave us different stuff to mine. It gave, there was a whole there was a computer language that you could learn and program computers with. There was like all this stuff you could build, you know. So they could just add that kind of stuff back in, but it would take a while. Yeah, man, this, uh, this so point. could have been after show stuff. I just realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. So. <laughs> <laughs> in right. fact, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap up. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you very much for listening to TTV 175. If you're watching this on Vessel, it was like the Christmas episode or whatever. Even you know, we uh, YouTube, it's like after New Year's. Christmas. So, uh, depending on your perspective, 
Merry late Christmas and happy late New Year, everybody. And we will uh, and be back next week. thanks a lot for missing my birthday. Yeah. yeah. Wait, we what? haven't missed your birthday, Takuma. Happy we once haven't. Again. But if you're, on listen- if you're listening to us on YouTube, you have. And you're once again, oh, to right. reiterate, hey, check out on Vessel at Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel. Buy a shirt at store.ttvpodcast.com. And an audible trial at audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. And we will see you all next week for another exciting episode of the TTV Podcast. I'm Messadak. I'm Bartoran. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Viper. I'm Tukumanuva. And farewell, everybody. <laughs>